Have you ever thought about preservation of plant species? Yes, a very good idea is definitely preserving the seeds. Now, how can we preserve the seeds so that they last for many, many years? So if we are trying to freeze them at a temperature below zero degree Celsius in the regions of the globe, then definitely those would be a very, very successful project. And there is one unique project that has been started and this is known as a global seed vault. What actually happens is if you look onto the region here in the region of Norway above the Norway region you have the region of a archipelago which is seen and there you can find out this location as you can see in the map is Salvabad. Now Salvabad is one of the places which is part of the preservation centers for the gene bank. Now what happens here is you have the various seeds that are preserved. Now seeds are preserved in what format? The seeds would be preserved in their original format in huge containers that would be kept in this region. The temperature here outside is minus 18 degrees Celsius and that is very well temperature to preserve the seeds. The process is started back in 2007 and as of now we have around 4.5 million species of various seeds that are preserved and the most unique thing about is it with each species you have nearly 500 for each variety that is being preserved you have nearly 500 seeds of that variety that are kept so it's a kind of huge project that we can understand now even in this region of Salvabad if we try to zoom it out we would see that you have the various glaciers and this is the region where you have Longyear Bine. Now Longyear Bine is the place where you have the best preservations that are seen and it is very very close to one of the major glaciers which is known as the Von Postbrain Glacier. Now Von Postbrain Glacier is one of the most uh, coldest region of this archipelago. Again what would happen in this case when there is a kind of global warming or a climate change the glaciers would start to melt so there has been huge uh, channels that have been cut across the region where you have the seed vault that has been kept and this seed vault is ensured that even if the melting of glacier starts there is no water that enters into the seed bank and that is one of the major things that we have to take into account now why we have created this what is the requirement there are certain conditions which are catastrophic for example there could be a scenario where there is nuclear war there could be a scenario where there is an asteroid strike or when there is a rapid climate change in all those scenarios you would have these seeds that could be utilized now what are the kind of seeds that have come into this region you have seeds from uh, the regions of brazil where you have a classic variety of onion even from the prince charles home you have various wild meadows that are seen which are preserved here you have numerous variety of beans from central asia similarly we have a lots and lots of varieties from across the globe be be it the region of Asia, be it the region of China, be it the region of Europe that is seen, numerous different varieties have come up. Now wheat, maize, sorghum, the staple food crops besides that pulses and then you have vegetables are some of the major crops that are being uh, saved here and it's believed that this would be the only way to survive if there is a doomsday and the stronger the facility the more the waterproofing the more the trenches are being created to uh, let the water flow across the region and not enter into the seed bank has been one of the challenges now if we look on to another important aspect which is talking about in india what we have done so this has been a project of norwegian republic gene center that has been taken place but yes we have done numerous projects in india as well so if we look on to the region of ladakh uh, we have the changla region and this is the changla region where you have uh, the gene bank that has 
been developed in India and this region is again very very important so you have the northern regions of the Kashmir here and the Ladakh region and here you have the Changla that is there now this Changla area if I zoom in a little you would have an idea about what the exact reason we are we are talking about so this is the map of uh, Kashmir and the Leh Ladakh region and here we have Changla. Now Changla is one of the centers where you have maintained uh, where the gene bank has been maintained at a height of nearly 17,000 uh, feet that it is kept at and this is the location where you have the India's gene bank or the India's seed bank that is there. The National Bureau of Plant Genetics Resources and Defense Institute of High Altitude Research are working together and also we are having another gene bank at the National Gene Bank in Delhi. However, here the temperatures are being kept at lesser as are lesser as compared to Changla. At Changla, we are trying to keep at a temperature of minimum minus 15 to minus 20 degrees Celsius and therefore it could be a very very successful venture. However, in Delhi where we are trying to keep the uh, seeds we are trying to say at least we would be able to store those for the coming few years but yes this is again a, one of the very very successful ventures of India and India seed vault has been one of the major facilities where nearly more than 5,000 seeds have been preserved so far so those are some of the major issues that we have been talking about indeed it's a very recent topic a very recent innovation and even if you are writing answers you can bring in how agriculture can be uh, revamped in a catastrophic condition or in the condition of climate change. So those were some of the most important things that we have discussed about Seed Vault. We would be bringing in many such interesting topics in the upcoming sessions. Stay tuned. Have a wonderful day ahead.